Hello everyone and welcome to So Many Games Little Time. My name is Joachim and today we'll be unboxing Mission Catastrophe. As you can see, the uh, box, the parcel box, I already removed it because it opened on the side. So it was a bit too difficult to show that in the video and so on. So this is basically what was inside, but the protection is still here. And these two are loose on the side. So I'll put this on the side for now. I'll take the protection off. And there we go. So, mission catastrophe by Matt Walters and Sergio Chavez. Uh, Sergio Chavez is the uh, artist, as you can see. And then the box of art looks pretty cool. Escape pods remaining, only one, of course. And the side of the box is you have this cardboard alchemy, uh, alien arts. And then here it says 14 plus, 30 to 60 minutes, 1 to 6 players. And here's some extra alien arts. There we go. And here's the same information. And on the back. So, Mission Catastrophe, work together to save yourself. So, the good news, the bad news, the worst news that you'll know from the... Uh, and also the one more thing that you'll know from the Kickstarter campaign. Uh, the components and everything and also includes maximum danger which is the uh, expansion which has a bunch of more stuff in there okay so let's uh, open this up i'll take off the film and then come back to you okay so the first thing we're going to look at are the dice the marble dice i think that like a two dollar add-on or something i don't remember they look cool you know they look nice Okay, and then we have the, the commemorative coin. If I can get it out, at least. Yeah. So, commemorative coin, one good value crafted by Draw Lab, Kickstarter inclusive. It's, it's not a stick or anything, just a piece of paper, hard, harder style. And this is the, the, uh, the coin. Mission Catastrophe, and one credit. Pretty good, quite weighty. It's okay, it's nice, it's cool. All right, and then put this out of the way a bit. Now let's open the box. I don't think there will be art inside, but you never know. No, okay. And yeah, for those who don't know me, don't, who don't know me, I always uh, check. All right, let's take a look at the rule book. Mission Catastrophe, guide to hopefully not getting blown up. All right, the humor. Okay, so the components, how to play, set up, setting your alien, your roll, boards and the cards, the player turns, the action, the ship modules, so 12 modules, module states, the pip cards, a bunch of other cards. Solo and co-op, which is important for me, especially during COVID. How to play, play examples, so that's really good as well. Roll cards. Okay. And finally at the end, the credits, game trays, and so on. Okay, cool. Then this is the rule book to uh, maximum danger. Guide to hopefully surviving with robots or surviving robots, depending on how you play. Because uh, when you're playing alone, you're playing against the robots, if, you're not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, if you're playing with other people, the robots help you. I seem to remember that from a video. You see, renegade robots in solo co-op mode. Uh, more roll cards. Red shirts, always bad. <laughs> and with special thanks. Uh, thank you so much for contribution, comments, and community. The deluxe copy, very likely a rare version, especially this expansion of Mission Catastrophe is the first game from Cardboard Alchemy and is made possible due to your generous supports. Okay, so my pleasure. So these are all punch boards. That's why there was lift on the board. And you can see they're actually recessed, which is nice, double layered. 
very very cool and then flip it over this is the back casimir is a ship okay here more rooms the colors really nice thick let's push one out see how easy it goes pretty easy yeah pretty easy cool all right and then here engine room navigation cargo bay the bridge and more pods So I zoomed in a little bit more for the inserts, you can see here. So I'm going to take it off the sides. It's pretty well, it's pretty snug. And you really have to use some force to get it off, which is really good. Because for sure then it'll be much more difficult to, uh, for all the stuff to fall out. This of course is the uh, ship integrity board. For those who have watched the videos, this looks way better than what they had then. So the back is nothing. So just this. Okay, nice and thick again, really good quality. Um, and then this comes out. Bum, 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 bum. It's nice. And then let's take a look at some of the in, in, some of the miniatures that are in there. So this already this guy already tried to escape. This is one of the robots. Okay. They're very cute, and I think they all look the same. Yeah, that they do. They do all look the same. And I don't know why I like this, but this actually turns around. And you can also just simply take it out and then put it back in if you want to. In the middle, there are some cubes. There's four fluorescent green cubes. I will open it and just put them in loose. I think that shouldn't be a problem. All right, and then we have some of the miniatures again. The characters we'll see later, uh, the cards for them. I mean, we can see Cricket here already. I take it this is Cricket. Yeah. So the details are actually quite nice. I don't know how well you can see it because it's difficult to see whether or not it focuses on it or not. Of this one, all right. The next one, some of these are really nice poses. This one makes me think of uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force a little bit. <laughs> uh -huh. This one. A janitor type or maybe a red shirt whoever i don't know like i said i don't know the characters yet so or at least i don't remember them the kickstarter has been a while there we go okay oh how, how did he go get in again <laughs> Like this, okay. This one is actually flying. This is cool. It's on a standee. <laughs> it's very original, actually. Nice. And then the robot. Or the little guy controlling the robot. Nice. Okay. And then I think we have a bunch of cards. Uh, all right, so we'll start with uh, me uh, changing the camera a bit so I can sit down while I'm doing this. So these are the first set of cards. We have Cricket, Homeworld, Hive Mind Alpha, Expendable Asset Space Ventures, <laughs> DSMV, Casimir. And on the back, you have, uh, the, I guess, the player board itself. You know, escape pods remaining and then uh, places for other stuff and so on. Then we have Chad. The home world is a Reptuvius colony. Expendable assets. So this is always going to be the same. They're with the same company. DSMV Casimir. And these are actually quite thick, these cards. And these are also 
too close together. So come on, Chad. This is his backside. I mean, that sounds wrong. <laughs> this is the back of the card. Okay. Then we have uh, Blorp Johnson, Homeworld Jalulon Prime. And uh, there we go. This is the, the other side of the card. T Turp TikTok. Right. This is his side. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, his homeworld is Tetremicus 4. Okay. Then we have Gizma 262. Homeworld is redacted. Uh, this is the one that flies, actually. This is the other side of the card. Then we have Zando uh, Mixilmiortic. Mixomiortic. And his homeworld is Protosphere 73. So Zando Mixomiortic. And then we have uh, player aids. So this is one side, the icons, iconography, quite a lot of them. And then the primary mo modules and auxiliary modules. And we have uh, one, two, three of them. And then we have three more uh, for them for soul and co-op the way you play it and then also the mind mold as well solo co-op scenario okay so meteorized marauders mind mold these are all the same okay cool so that's one set of cards and the next one i think this might be the expansion yes renegade robots this is the expansion So let's look at those. We have Lei, Leilu, I guess, Leilu. Uh, Homeworld is Wayham, Mayhem Station, sorry. There we go. Sorry, let me do that again. This is Leilu, the Homeworld is Mayhem Station. This is the other side. There we go. Then David Eman. Uh, Lunar Lab Complex is his Homeworld. David Eman, and then uh, player aids for the expansion, the expansion modules, and then on the other side, Renegade Robots. Okay, cool. So those are the bigger cards, of course. Um, then we have this, which has uh, A, B, C, D, E, F. I don't know what it does, because I didn't check the rules yet. Uh, hop. Side. Here we have two more dice. So you saw I already had two of them. Adding two just allows you not to pass the dice or at least pass them less often. So the same quality as the other ones. Looks nice. Yeah. Uh, then we have the translucent cubes. Now I'm only going to show a couple of these because they're just exactly that, right? Translucent red cubes. Nothing super duper special. Uh -huh. And then next we have translucent yellow cubes. I will show a couple of them just to have an idea. All right. Okay, and back in the bag they go. I will do a reboxing as well at the end of this. And these are just regular white cube cubes, not see-through or translucent and the blue ones there we go and then we have two more colors we have the orange ones come on open up uh, come on okay And I'd also like to take this moment uh, for to tell you guys that uh, if you like unboxings in general and gameplays and how to plays and even music to do with uh, board games, please do think about subscribing and liking and so on uh, because there will always be Kickstarter uh, unboxings here on this channel. Okay, so then we have a, a bunch of other cards left. Let's start with these first. Ship 
design designer it should designer <laughs> sorry took a while to get that one so and something that might be weird to say but everything is super easy to open and it's really good because so many games uh, don't do that <laughs> so are these all ship designer no ship designer bounty hunter so these are roles stowaway stowaway secret agent rich okay so let's take the other side so these are cards robotics experts so i guess if you take these cards you can end up getting one of these so here hold this uh this is the robotics expert yes on the side better you than me i see all walk it off now i'm not going to go through all this because honestly art wise it's not really worth it so you know these are just skills that you can do gotcha and so on so i don't think it's that important to go through so then this set seems to be roughly the same although one thing i can tell you and then i'll go back to these other cards actually here's a different role so you have ship designer that's one you have bounty hunter you have stowaway you have secret agent red shirt cruise director that sounds funny cook Tractor beam controller, gunner, shield operator, medic, and robotics expert again. Oh, well, we already mentioned that. It's here, but we're going to put it here just in case. And then the other ones are janitors again, uh, rig operator, science officer, ship doctor, teleport controller, botanist, quartermaster, Communications officer, engineer, pilot, first mate, captain. Okay. Oh, captain, my captain. All right, and then we have two left. So the big one will be first. And like I said, they continue to open very easily. That is very nice to see. All right, so these guard cards all have the same background, so it's easy. And they do have some art this time, so that's nice. So we have the power pack, a bunch of them, the navigation codes, the oxygen tank, food rations, spacesuit, remote repair. These might be different. Oh, they're all remote repairs, okay. Eva. Hack the bridge, requisition form 2C, scavenge, quick thinking, override, emergency meeting, <laughs> lift and shift, potato, bear, and quackalope. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. So those are those cards and then we have one more which might be under the expansion again we'll see yes the expansion for sure because we have reboot adrenaline shots deflector guilty as charged wormhole engine overload and artifact 42 uh-huh all right so that seems to conclude uh this unboxing there's nothing in there this will just all easily come out so there's nothing at the bottom either no surprises you never know all right okay so that is the unboxing of uh mission catastrophe now what i will do is i will make a reboxing as well because you can see in the insert there's a lot of spots there and no clear way not that i noticed anyway where to put it so um i even forgot to put this back in which looks to me like a dice tray but we'll see um so it could be an update on the kickstarter as well that i missed for the uh, reboxing but i'll make a video regardless okay and surprise surprise it is actually here uh, on the side where everything goes uh, but nonetheless, I will still make one if you don't want to look uh, left and right to see what goes where. 
Uh, I'll do it step by step, so that way you know and you don't have to think about it too much. <laughs> All right, okay. So that's it. Uh, my name is Joachim, uh, was Joachim, it will always be. This was so many games for a little time. Thank you very much for watching and please do think about uh, subscribing or liking or commenting. Thank you very much. That's it. Bye bye.